Yo, what's good with y'all? We back with another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today, we're gonna be creating two teams, and we're gonna be creating like type of spawn pads for them. Like, basically, when you walk on it, it'll allow you to change teams. It'll switch you from, let's say, you're neutral, and you walk on uh, uh, red, the red part. It'll switch you to red team. If you walk on the blue part, it'll switch you to the blue team. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So yeah, as you can see, we have a base pad already. If you guys won't need any parts. You can you can even delete the uh, basic spawn that comes with having a normal base plate. You wanna go on over to server script service, click the plus sign, click script, delete the print, and just and just to go ahead and just let you guys know ahead of time. This script is really long and stuff. So I'll be leaving it like I'll copy it and paste it into the description and stuff. So in case you guys, actually I'll just leave it in the comments for y'all. So you guys want to copy and paste it, but I'll be breaking it down and explaining it to you for people who want to understand, for, understand like how it works and stuff. Basically, if you don't know already, local that's how you that's how you're creating variables. You say local, then you put the name of it, and then you define what the variable is. We're gonna put local team to define what a team is equals to game then we're going to do get service which is telling the game to get the service known as teams so that we're creating teams we're going to put a space and now we're actually going to make the teams then we're going to create another variable local red team you guys can change the name like if you want blue team purple team orange team etc etc it doesn't matter just make sure whatever name you put for local it matches with everything we're about to do so you're going to do local red team equals instance dot new instance dot new is basically when the game starts it's creating something like putting something into the game so when you do instance dot new you want to do team it's creating a team then you want to do comma team basically it's you're creating a team but then you're creating a team inside teams basically if that makes sense because basically you have you have the teams that you get from this from getting the service but then we're creating our own team that's why we put teams twice basically so then we're going to go ahead and go to the next line then we have to define some things we're going to do red team dot name even though you name the variable that the script will recognize but in the game you actually have to name it so here's where that comes into we're going to do red team dot name equals parentheses quotation marks and then you want to do red team Whatever you put here is whatever shows up for the team name when you actually click play and go inside the game. When you do that, then when you do red team, auto assignable. This basically means when a person joins the game, if you have if you have auto assignable set to true, it'll automatically put them to the team. Yes, if you have it set to false, it will not put them. It will not set them to the team. Basically, you would really only want to use auto assignable for like a neutral type of team or like a spectating team, basically. So we're gonna do equals false, and then the last thing, red team dot team color, and then what you wanna do is you wanna do equal red color dot new, which is creating a color, really red. Now obviously you guys can choose whatever color you want, but I'm just gonna go with really red because really red is just the five color, you know. And then we're gonna move on to our second team. Literally, it's the exact same as what we just did. Local blue team, instance.new, team, team again, comma, team. Just like there. And then we're gonna, and then just like this. To even make it easier, you guys, look, you could easily, you could just do that. You could literally copy and paste it, then just copy it over just like that. That's how, that's literally, that's how literally simple it is. Just do blue team, then just change the color to i guess i guess we'll just do really blue too see just like that that's all it that's all it is basically you've created two teams we can go ahead and test it out if i click play i'm not going to be on any of the teams yes see roblox is automatically set to create to put you on a neutral team but you see how we have red team blue team and then the colors and stuff but yeah now we need to create uh two spawn points to where you click on them 
it'll make you change uh, teams. Basically, a team, a team select to put in simply. All right. Now we're gonna get into the actual spawn script. So we're gonna be creating another variable local red spawn equals instance dot new. We're creating something once again inside the game spawn location, and then here is where you want it to be created game dot workspace. You need this because instance dot new is telling what you want to be created spawn location, but you have to also tell the game where you want it. So you want the small location to be created inside the workspace. So that's where all parts and objects go. And then, and then we have to define a lot of things for it. You want, what you want to do is red spawn dot allow team change on touch. Basically, when a person when a player touches it, it'll change their team to whatever team that spawn is set to set to basically since it's red spawn if a player touches it it will change their team to red team so you want to do equals to true now if you don't want them to change teams when they touch it then you set it to false then you want to do red spawn dot anchor this is just a few property you want, to, you want it to be anchored and stuff because you don't want your you don't want your game to start and then like it's just it's not like staying in one place it's moving around and it's able to be pushed around and yeah all that stuff Respond that anchored. You want to set that to true. Then you want to do red spawn dot brick color. And then of course you have to set the color of it. Just like before, brick color dot new. Then to really red. You want it to match. You want the colors to match exactly whatever colors you made the team. And then you want. Then you got to define the name. Red spawn dot name. And then, and then you want to call it red spawn and then from there you want to do red spawn dot team color so that whenever it switches them that's the team color equals brick color dot new really red because that's the color that matches the red team then after you want to do red spawn Red spawn dot size. This is basically changing the size of the spawn. You obviously want it big enough to where people can touch it, but it's not too small. So you want to do equals, and then you need the vector. Vector three. That's basically setting. It's basically setting a size for then you do new because you're creating a, a new size, basically changing it. Then obviously you guys can make it however big or small you want it to be. But this is just I do the stuff if you know how to do x and y coordinates and stuff then you go ahead you do whatever you, you do whatever you want but the but you guys can just use these coordinates if you guys don't know how to do uh, x y and z coordinates and then red spawn dot position you gotta set like where the location is and once again back to that I knew and then we're gonna be setting it to negative 24 uh, 129, 215, 189, and 112, 153. And then for the last thing, we're going to be doing red spawn dot neutral. We obviously want to set this to false as the red spawn is for the red team, which is not a neutral team. And then see, look. We could go ahead and just test it just to see. As you guys can see up there, and don't worry, by the time we're done with this, you guys will see. When I drop down from the sky, uh, I'll be spawning up there. It'll be like a whole big area and stuff. You guys are going to see. But yeah, as you guys can see, the red spawn is up there. But yeah, let's keep going. So we've created the red spawn just like before to save yourself time because you really don't have to, you really don't have to do everything. You really don't have to type all of that over again. Just simply copy, paste, and then just change the name. Blue spawn. Then just do this, this, this. It saves you a lot of time, as it as it really is a lot to type out. But then 
but then you also have to be careful. Make sure you change these settings. You need to change the team color. You need to change, I mean, the brick color. You need to change the name. You need to change the brick color as well as the team color. And you also have to change the size and position. So we're gonna be making we're gonna be making the so you well no you don't have to change the size the size can remain the same but you do want to change the position because they would just be overlapping each other we want them next to each other but still so we're gonna be changing we're gonna leave the two one five and then we're gonna make this point two one three point two one three and then we're gonna be changing this to negative eighty six and then fifty five. And then, of course, we're gonna send. We're gonna keep neutral set as false. This is for the blue team. And then now for the last one, we're gonna be doing neutral spawn. This is gonna give us a a big place basically, so that you can basically decide your teams. So once again, just copy. But we're gonna be changing up more things this time. So you wanna. So obviously, you wanna change it to neutral spawn let's help see what you want it to be changed to then just like before you're going to copy and paste it over the old names because it would create issues if you were to keep it the same and then now allow to change on touch to you want all this to and then you could really have it set to honestly whatever you want i said it i personally set it to mid gray as i just feel like that's a color of a neutral team, you know, and then you would put you want to change the in game name to neutral spawn, and then the size and position. Now, this is where it changes basically. What you want to do is you want to change the size, it's going to be way bigger than the spawns because that's a little area you spawn on. So, you want this change to 60 160. It's gonna be like a big little spot so that like a lot of people can be on it at once. And then you will change the position to negative 40. Oh, hold on. You wanna change the position to negative 40 point four. Oh wait, point four two hundred and fourteen point two hundred and sixteen. And then negative ninety nine zero eight. I want to change that, and then unlike the other two, you want to set this to true because this is the neutral spawn. You want when like when you, when people join the game, it'll automatically put them put them on the neutral team and they'll spawn them here. And now let's test it. When you spawn when you spawn in a game, you see it's always going to spawn you on some part of the neutral spawn. It's like this whole white area, this is neutral. It'll always spawn you somewhere on here, and then here are our little, and then here are our spawns. You guys can see that they're the exact same size. They're spaced out, so people could choose their team without accidentally click, uh, clicking on the wrong one. And then see, I click on that red team, puts me on the red team. If I go back on the white, puts me on neutral team. Then if I go on blue, blue team, neutral, red, blue. See, switches teams. But yeah, basically that's how you create teams, that's how you create spawns, like where you can change your team, where you can change whatever team you're on, as well as creating like a little area, a little, like a starting point for everyone. Because you could have like your map, you could have this in the air and then have your map down there where people are fighting and stuff, and then here, up here where people decide where, what team they want to go, if they want to be red team or blue team or whatever uh, team you have, depending on your game and whatnot. Yeah, I hope, hope this was helpful for you guys, you gotta like and subscribe. Yeah, I'll see y'all later.